Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a pretty cool one. We're taking a look at 3M's Visual Attention Software, or VAS for short. It's a really awesome software that helps you analyze your designs in the early design stages to help you not only create beautiful designs, but to get the user to react and view the design the way you originally intended. So today I've partnered with VAS and the team to bring you this introduction video. So let's just go ahead and dive right into VAS. So here on the VAS website, it gives you a lot of information about VAS and what it does. It's a browser-based software that has plugins currently for Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, and Adobe XD. And we will be diving into the Adobe XD plugin here in a little bit. All right, so let's take a look at how VAS works. So I've went ahead and logged in here in the browser version of VAS. I'm going to go ahead and upload a file, and we'll take a look at this. All right, so once my design is uploaded, I can go ahead and select this and analyze it. And it allows you to analyze different types of media. We're going to go with a web page and we can take a look at my design. And so what VAS does is it allows me to simply run an analysis on this visual layout and it's going to tell me what's attracting and distracting from my design. It's going to predict this within 92% accuracy. It's looking at the first three to five second glance that a user has when they look at something, which is called the pre-attentive processing phase. And it's during this three to five second window that our brain is looking for a complex relationship between five key visual elements that we are naturally attracted to, such as edges, intensity, red and green contrast, blue and yellow contrast, and faces. So if I go under the visual features tab here, it shows you a breakdown of each one of those and a combined tab as well. So you can see that my edges are really popping on this design in the areas that I'm wanting, such as my heading and my call to action. Same thing with intensity in two locations. And then in the red and green contrast, you can see that nice lime green button is popping. So our eyes are going to naturally be drawn to it. And where we have no faces, it's completely black. And again, VAS is analyzing that complex relationship between those five things to see where our eyes are going to be drawn to. And it's going to give us a series of five different types of reports for us to look at. And as designers, these reports are extremely helpful because capturing the user's attention in those three to five seconds are crucial. Because if your design attracts a viewer's attention in those first three to five seconds, you increase the likelihood viewers will respond consciously to the content. So we first have the heat map, and this is going to provide us an easy to read visual overview that's just letting us know where our attention is going. So obviously the red spots are going to be the hottest spots where our eyes are going to go and the blue are going to be where we kind of casually look. So right now my call to action and heading is popping. That looks great for this design. The next thing is hot spots. And hotspots are scores of probability of where your user is going to view. So there's an 80% chance that the user's eye is going to go here. And there's a 54% chance here. And then the image in the background is catching some spots as well. Next up is the gaze sequence. And this is the sequence in which our eye is going to view the page. So right here in this sequence, we're starting at the call to action button. We're going to the heading, this kind of tree here in the image, and then we're going down to the video. So in this particular design, I'm really targeting the heading, the call to action, and this video block in this design. So this is looking really good so far. And lastly is the visual feature section, which we've already taken a look at, breaking down each one of those five key things our eyes are looking for in those first three to five seconds. The last thing is areas of interest. And this is a really cool feature because we can select particular parts of our design and run an analysis on it. So if I choose to reanalyze this, this time I want to grab this heading here and I want to mark that as an area of interest. And then I'm also going to mark my call to action and we'll do this block down here in the bottom. So now if we analyze this, it's going to provide those probability scores for these exact locations that I targeted. So here in this first one, we have a 73% chance of the eye being drawn to this section. Same thing with a call to action here, 80% chance, which is looking pretty good. And then a 54% chance to this video. So you can kind of think of VAS as a second pair of eyes, someone to kind of double check your work and give you some feedback. So we've got some good feedback here on this design. And I can go make some informed design decisions to make sure that I'm targeting the user's eye and attention the way I want to with this site. So now that we have some insights on our design, we might want to make some design changes. So that means we're going to be in our design tool quite a bit. 
So instead of having to go from the design tool to the browser, we have the amazing VAS plugin for Adobe XD. So we can run that analysis and get all that information right here in Adobe XD without ever having to touch our browser. So just download the VAS plugin here and just click sign in. And once you've logged in with your account, we can do that same process right here. So if I select this artboard, we can immediately just run an analysis. So we'll select our content type and we'll just run a quick analysis. And so now we have our results right here in Adobe XD. And to quickly go through them, all we have to do, click on what we wanna see. So if we wanna see our gaze sequence, it's gonna load that for us. If we wanna see our hotspots, we can toggle that on, our heat map. And if we just wanna hide this so we can do some design work, we just toggle off show and we can go back to designing. You'll notice right here that you can select up to four artboards. So we can run an analysis on multiple versions of our website to get better insights even faster. So over here, I have an older version of this design, which doesn't have a very high contrasting button and has a little bit of text here that's hard to read. So let's grab both of those and run an analysis and see what happens. So I quickly switched to a vertical layout here so you can see these a little better. On top, we have our newer design and on the bottom, we have our older one. As expected, you can see the start traveling call to action button up here is really grabbing the user's attention. Whereas this one down here is really not because it doesn't have any contrast. It just has a little bit of edges there. So it is getting some blue attention in the heat map, but not nearly as much as the button we have up top. Also with this is we have the history tab. So you can run different results. So you can compare and contrast your first result versus the new one we just ran and see what the differences are. So you have that history panel as well. Lastly here, we have the areas of interest as well. So all we have to do is grab the rectangle tool here in Adobe XD and we can just drag out a rectangle and then simply convert to target and it will make that the element we need to run the analysis on. So I'm just gonna do the same thing I did in the web browser. Just add these three rectangles here and convert them all to targets. And then we'll select that artboard and run that analysis. And that'll give us our target region results. So all around some pretty impressive stuff here from VAS, giving you some science-based data, give you that confidence that you know that visual hierarchy is going to perform the way you want it. And once again, from here, if we want to toggle this off, we just toggle it off and we begin designing again and making changes. Then we can run another analysis. So that's going to pretty much do it for the introduction to VAS. If you guys have any questions about VAS, just leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to get those answered for you guys. Also, make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out on my next VAS video where I showcase how I use it to reach my design objectives and achieve a good visual hierarchy. So if you wanna see more VAS content, that'll be in the next video. Also, if you go check out VAS using the link in the description, make sure you use my promo code, that's promo code Kaler, for an extra five trial credits. That gives you an additional five on top of the 10 they give you when you sign up. So that's promo code Kaler. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a like, subscribe for more design-related content, and as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.